Hey guys, welcome back. This is By the Book and we are your married relationship coaches on a roll today talking about Married at First Sight, season 15, episode 6. Today we're talking about Ben and Morgan. This is our first time talking about this couple, Absolutely. so I'm a little bit excited. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> I'm excited to talk about them for the first time. We just talked about everybody else. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm not thrilled about their prospects for survival beyond eight weeks, but... Um, That's pretty bad. Excited to talk about it anyway. Uh, what are your first impressions of this couple? We just saw them get married and get like joined up with everybody else on the honeymoon. So. You, you know, to be honest with you, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the whole argument was about. Okay. I'm still kind of confused. Get into that. Let's talk about this family and student debt dilemma that I think got made into something so much bigger than it needed to be. And it's all Ben's fault because (laughs) he's insane. So let's start with that. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, all right. I was going to say I was still kind of confused about what he, how he betrayed our trust. But anyway. um, You're on his side? No, I'm not. I I'm, not I'm not totally on his side, but I'm just kind of confused about the, all of the emotion. Okay. You know, kind of yeah, like let's, behind let's, it. Let's talk about that. Okay. Let's talk about okay. And so that. she was really upset. We can, and then right after this, after this, we're gonna get into the whole finance thing. But I'm really confused about why she was so upset. Now I understand you. 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 I'm. I'm a firm believer that trust is earned. She mm-hmm. just met him. Mm-hmm. So how did he betray trust that he never should have had in the first place? So I don't understand. Can you please help Okay, me? so again, I f- you know this is a unique situation. These couples yeah. are getting married and they're trying their best to treat one another like husband and wife. Yeah. So it, it's almost like you go in with this built relationship that somebody built for you and you're trying to function within those norms. So I'm trying to function as if we met and dated and fell in love and married each other. But I just met you yesterday. Okay. So she's giving him trust that he hasn't earned. Okay. Right? Mistake. But go so ahead. So it might be. It might be. But I mean, the whole show is kind of crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> we love it anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so... She trusts him to whatever extent, you know, she's able to do so. Mm -hmm. And he immediately goes and gossips to the girliest person on the show, which is Justin. (laughs) Like, who does that? What? Who does that? Did you just call that man the girliest? He's the, okay, what do you want me to call him? The most woman-y? Woman-y. He's the most woman-y. Are you the most woman-y? You see how it's catching on? He is woman-y, though, for real. So, yeah. I mean, you go, look, she told, why it was a secret, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. This I'm not sure about because she's a nurse. Um, and if people don't understand like the process by which you become a nurse and the levels of nursing, mm-hmm. maybe you should talk to a nurse, right? Yeah. Like before you start blabbing off about what they are and what they aren't. True that. There are people, I, I mean, I went to high school with people who became nurses straight out of high school because they took the courses necessary. You don't have to have a bachelor's degree mm-hmm. to be a nurse. Like a nurse's aide. It's, it's a, like yes, that, right? like a, a, mm-hmm. a CNA. Yeah. I think that's the very first first level. So, I mean, yeah. if you don't want to call it a nurse, but they do nurse stuff and they do yeah. the grunt work, okay? Yeah. The real nasty grunt work. Yeah, the next one's so, part is LPN. Yeah, okay. so, so it, it progresses, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody who's a nurse or who serves as a nurse does not have to have a bachelor's degree. So, mm-hmm. I just feel like, I, I don't know, he been really rubbed me wrong. Like, he came off to me as a very privileged person mm-hmm. who never had to go through anything in life and, and very kind of judgmental. Because mm-hmm. the first thing that he had an issue with was her issue, her whatever type of situation she has with her family. She mentioned, I don't know the depth of it, if she talked about it like during the vetting process, I don't remember. Yeah. But in this recent episode, she mentioned that she has like a bad relationship with her dad and it's been such for several years. Yeah, they right? talked about it because he wasn't at the wedding. Okay. Yeah. So, right. That's a situation mm-hmm. that people go through. Real people go through real things with their real families. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying that 
he's any less of a real person. I'm just saying you can't be so privileged that you can't recognize that everybody didn't grow up like you. True. That's real obnoxious of him. He's like, I, I never had a toxic relationship. She didn't say nothing about it being toxic. Now, I don't know what it is, and it might be toxic, but he's doing too much. Mm-hmm. Like, that that really rubs me the wrong way. You know, so her yeah. her family relationship is supposed to be just picture perfect, and she's not supposed to have any drop of student debt. Mind you, he's older than her. He is Finance, she's, a student debt. Yeah, okay. she, she's 27, and he's 30, yeah. and it, like, who cares if she has student debt? Yeah. I mean, shoot, I got student debt that may never get paid. <laughs> what? You have to... no. But you know what I mean? And, and and we're still okay. Like, people function with student debt. And his idea about what has to be and how perfect it has to be is, I think, unreasonable. Mm. And again, I'll say the word again. It's very privileged. His, his privilege is showing yeah. right now. And I, and I don't like it. Yeah. So he decides to assume that because she doesn't have a bachelor's degree, that she's not a real nurse. Mm. The audacity. Yeah. Like, well, I forgot what he does. But I'm sure it's some privileged position that he didn't have to pay a drop of money to, <laughs> for her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, being, he got on my bad side. I hope he can redeem himself with me because I'm mm-hmm. over him. I yeah. didn't like it at all. Then he goes and turns around and he tells Justine. So. <laughs> the woman Okay, go ahead. No, he tells Justin, right? And I, why? Because you knew he was going to open his mouth and tell somebody else. You knew that was going to instantly become pillow talk with Alexis. And Alexis talks a lot and loud. So once you start that telephone game, it's going to go all the way around. Yeah. And unlike unlike Justin saying that he was celibate on TV, where yeah. we all could hear, she didn't have that conversation on TV. That's yeah. something that they had behind closed doors, I believe, yeah. because I didn't hear that come yeah, out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he actually made that public. Hmm. And that wasn't necessary. So... Big thumbs down, red flags to me yeah. for for Ben. Yeah, well, thank you for helping me understand that a little bit better. Um, I, I definitely, I, yeah, I get this. I get the circle meaning of it now. But my my thing, or my thought process is he's a big finance guy. He's a numbers guy. Mm-hmm. He's very frugal, and he has made that a part of his identity. I mean, is 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 come full circle from. Just being maybe a pet peeve. No, mm-hmm. this is full on who who this guy is. He doesn't co- have any debt, and he wants whoever he's with to not have any debt. But here he goes into a marriage with a wife that he didn't pick. Someone else picked this wife for him, mm-hmm. and so he's now in this situation. She does have debt, and instead of him stepping up and saying, "Hey, you know what? Debt makes me uncomfortable." And I see that you have some. Would you mind us getting together and maybe we can brainstorm on how we can get this paid Mm -hmm. off as quickly as possible? See, that's how you earn some trust. And no, he didn't want to do that. He didn't do that. Like like my wife said, he ran to what you call him, Justine. Just, he ran to Justine. Justine. And then told all, he spilled all the tea. <laughs> so here he goes. He runs like a girl to talk about his wife to another girl. That's why they're friends. You know. Him and Justine. <laughs> you know, so yeah. So I, yeah. No, so that's just, you know, it was an opportunity for him to step up as a man and as a husband. Yeah. And he didn't do that. And so he took the, the opposite route and he, and, <laughs> like a typical guy sometimes he made a bad situation worse yeah. and so here it is you know i don't feel good about this situation although both of them agreed to try you know yeah to, i to mean put what are you gonna them. do people i mean they're here on this honeymoon they're part of this process she even said to the girls normally at this point she would like cut and run from somebody who broke her trust like that Mm -hmm. So she obviously is feeling strongly in some type of way about what happened and and rightfully so, Mm -hmm. rightfully so. Um, And what he did, what I, the only other thing that I really want to focus on with this couple is, Mm -hmm. okay, so everybody sat at a dinner together 
Like, and this was after all of that kind of unfolded and the con- side conversations were had. Yeah. And Morgan was talking about herself and like what her days look like. Mm-hmm. I think like how busy she is and she usually does this and this happens and she has kind of a structure yeah. to her day. And as she's talking, she's dominating the conversation. It's like it's not something where she and Ben are going back and forth and saying, yeah, we'll do this and blah, blah, blah. You know, he's not really putting anything into the conversation. And so everyone's sitting back looking at her like, oh, my gosh, she's so independent. And like, where does he even fit in? Yeah. And when we talk about Justin and Alexis, I'll talk about them and why they should or should not chime into this situation at this point. But yeah. I'm not going to get into them because that's a whole new episode. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that she came off as a very like, I got my whole life kind of plotted out right now. I don't really have room for a man. To people, I didn't necessarily read what she was saying like that, but apparently that's how it came off to the people at the table. And so they're saying, where does he fit in? Blah, blah, blah. Right. And Alexis, you know, I think is doing too much. Justin yeah. is doing too much. Perfect. Talking about this, you know, a little side. Oh, well, what she need him for? Am yeah. I wrong? Yes, you're wrong. Shut up. She's talking. Well, here, so. let's, let's, let's break it down. They've only known each other for a couple of mm-hmm. days. Actually, less days than the other right. couples. And so to be able to turn a, turn it on and off like a light switch. Okay, I've been living my life for 30 years. What you say, 27? Mm-hmm. 27 years as a single person. And I just got married, met this person a few days ago. And now just like a light switch. Boop, boop. I'm yeah. married. I'm in married mode. I'm making room for this person. I'm th- not thinking single minded anymore. I'm thinking couples and I'm thinking marriage. I'm yeah. thinking union. I'm thinking all of this different type of stuff. It just doesn't happen that way. No, people have right. to grow into it. And so I, th- that's that's not a th- that's no finger pointing that needs to happen in there. That's no ridicule that needs to happen mm-hmm. in there. Let her come around to her thinking couple minded. It, 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 it'll yeah. happen. Scared, I mean, they're you know? forced. To live together. Yeah. So whether she likes it or not, mm-hmm. whether it's comfortable or natural or not, yeah. he's going to be incorporated into her life. True. Period. Mm-hmm. At least for the next seven or eight weeks, yeah. that's going to be the case for them. Mm-hmm. So, like, does everybody pump your brakes? It's, <laughs> he's, he's going to fit in. Yeah. However, the point that I wanted to make about her independence is she most assuredly did not feel comfortable even speaking on him being part of her every day yeah. because of the conversation that they just had. When you said that he basically fumbled an opportunity mm-hmm. to, to gain <clears throat> her trust, he also fumbled an opportunity to let her guard down with some of that independence. True. Right? When you tell, She said to him while they were sitting there, I want to just put everybody on the beach. I think they were on the beach too, though. I think they were. She said to him... You know, I'm not going to ask you for a cent of your money. Yes. See, the fact that she even felt in a pressure situation where she had to say that and like calm him down or like validate herself or anything like that. That meant that that was already a fail to begin with because she clung on to this to, to her. Absolutely. Like, I don't need you to do Mm -hmm. nothing for me, bro. You ain't got to, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's where she was coming from. Mm -hmm. And that's where so many of us independent women are coming from because we've essentially been told or shown by other men that don't depend on me. You know, that's not a comfortable place to be. So she's not in a comfortable place. Yeah. And she already, I mean, this was an uncomfortable situation. Being married at first sight is an uncomfortable situation already. Yeah. It's only to have someone kind of tell you your life is wrong. Like, you're all messed up. Like, yeah. you, you don't know. You're not good with your dad. You got student debt. You can't even tell me the truth about what your career is. You're not yeah. a real nurse, girl. Stop playing. You know... Okay, well, you know, you stay over there. Thank you very much. You forgot so, she knows Muay Thai. She could have yes. you know, chopped his head. But she's right going to separate. Like, naturally, he took so many steps backwards in this short, short process mm-hmm. that it, it may not be recoverable. Mm-hmm. That's not going to go away in her head anytime soon. I feel you. Totally agree. So, 
that's where I am with them. I hate for our very first review of a couple to be so bad. <laughs> they did but, it. We didn't do it. Yeah, I, yeah. I just. Mm, 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 mm. I'll be I'll be interested to see what their next fight is because I'm sure it's gonna be him being very anal about something. Yeah. And and screwing it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. They 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 they're leaving their honeymoon. Yeah. Uh, and they're gonna be getting settling in into their apartment or whatever together. And then usually, married at first sight experts kind of come in mm-hmm. and see how things are going. And so let's see if Pastor Cow or uh, Dr. Pepper will be able to kind of like help them through these like turbulent waters that they're kind of like going through. I hope they can. It, it's it's all about communication and how you deal with with with, with the stress of the situation. Yeah. He failed, and so let's see if he can kind of like redeem himself. I hope he can. It's it's pretty early on, but I hope he can. My wife doesn't think he can. Hey, you know, get get, get a man a shot. He might you may be able to do I it. Don't, I, he's, very like judgy and unrealistic and he's kind of giving me Johnny vibes. Johnny? <laughs> okay. So I, I, I don't know. That. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Y'all let us know what you think. He's probably not as bad as Johnny Bastille. He's, no, he's, he's I don't pretty think so. bad. I don't think so. Just <laughs> <is a> tear. <laughs> also, question for you guys. We don't have to answer. I don't want you to answer this yet because I mean you may not even have enough of a reference point. But do you guys think that he's attracted to her? Because she said a lot about him being attractive. But I haven't heard him really say that she was attractive. And that could be a factor in him being very picky with her. Is that he's already like, man, like she's all right. Mm. Um, and then, you know, it's easier to nitpick some of the other things when you're not just like, wow, she is stunning. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious about that and what you guys think. And maybe we can talk about that on our next episode about them. Definitely. Um, yeah, guys. So, you know, let's talk about it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Please comment. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.